Good morning. It is Saturday, October the 31st. I think yesterday when I closed out the devotion, I said, I'll see you in church tomorrow. In my mind, as I closed, I thought it was Saturday. But today is Saturday. It is Halloween. Some of you will be visited by numerous little children in outfits tonight uh, looking for candy. And it's always a fun night of the year. I love to see the little children come by. And uh, this year may be less than ever before because of COVID-19. Proverbs 21, verse 13, is today's proverb. Whoever shuts his ears to the cry of the poor will also cry himself and not be heard. Do you remember when Jesus said, do unto others as you would have them do unto you? Uh, It's called the golden rule, and and that's a paraphrase of it. But the Lord was teaching us that if you want to be treated a certain way, treat other people the way you would like to be treated, even if... They never treat you that way. It's not so that you can be treated that way. It's to use the way you would want to be treated as the standard for how you treat others. So Solomon is telling these young men that if you shut your ear to the cry of the poor, someday you will cry and your voice won't be heard either. There's a a reciprocity um, to reciprocity to life. That as we give, it returns to us. Jesus said, give, and it shall be given unto you. Now, it's not karma. It's not the impersonal, mystical force that makes whatever you do come back to you. It is a spiritual reality that the way you treat others has an effect on the way they treat you. You and I can't necessarily see far into the future and the days when we might need assistance, when we are humbled, when we are unable to take care of ourselves. And at that point in time in our lives, we might want somebody to love and care for us, provide for us. But if we don't do it in our lives, we haven't set the example or the tone or built the relationship for anybody else. But it's not just horizontally, the other people who see that. It's God. God sees how we treat other people. God sees how we react to the poor. God sees how we react to the less fortunate, to the underserved, to those who are suffering physically, financially, or relationally. We are always to be kind and gracious and compassionate. And as James said, you know, to do good, particularly those who are of the household of God. But if you don't do good, if your faith doesn't have works, where is your faith? So as you go through life today and you see those who have need, don't turn a deaf ear or turn your head away from them. Um, Have compassion. Pray for them. Provide for them if you can, and you can't provide for every poor person you meet, but you can show kindness and compassion because someday you might need it. It's an important lesson for all of us to keep in the back of our mind because it keeps us humble and empathetic and sympathetic as we identify with those in need. Let's pray. Father, we do ask you to help us on this day to Remember those whose lives aren't as blessed as ours, and there's always somebody whose life is not as blessed as ours, even though many of us think we have very difficult times to live through. There are many people around the world who would think our lives are just wonderful and almost dreamlike. Help us to have humility, self-awareness. Help us to have compassion and kindness towards others. Help us to never turn a deaf ear to the poor. Help us to treat others the way that Jesus would. And Father, we ask that in Jesus' name. Amen. Now I can say it. Hope to see you tomorrow in church. And if you can't be in church, that you'll join us on live stream. It's Sunday. It's the day of the Lord. Let's honor him with a a devotional thought together on Sunday morning. We're in 2 Peter.